Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 24th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun. 304 angstroms is the last 48 hours of imagery. Reporting two strong solar flares. One was an M-class, as reported in yesterday's video. We did have a strong C-class, almost M-class solar flare today. And as well, another one on the back side. Looking the last 48 hours incoming. Still have that large plasma filament erecting from the surface on the left-hand side, which is the southern hemisphere of our sun. And as well, large solar prominence coming into a cresting view. Looking at the last two days outgoing. Multiple C-class solar flares been in a long duration C-class flare event for the past day. Looking at multi-spectrum here, there are no coronal holes to talk about, but have a look at that large plasma filament in the southwest region. Getting ready to rip away. Looking at the last few images there, it's getting close. As well, notable there, the M-class solar flare, that flash you see, and then a small flash from the backside of our sun, right there, cresting into view from the one of 10 sunspot regions. Right there, gonna be definitely keeping an eye on the incoming sunspot regions. And there are 13 sunspots in an earth facing view right now. I don't think I've ever reported that many sunspots on an earth facing disc. 13 sunspots, very active sun. And I do believe our sun's about to do something funky. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. Having a look at the latest space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts are expected. Solar wind sitting at about 450 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing the C strong C-class and M-class solar flare from two days ago, geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP4, real-time solar wind, 460 after topping out at 430 kilometers per second. And it's been pretty much streamlined, just about 450 to 460 for the past day. Having a look at our magnetosphere, this is our pressure. So I do believe you can see here, the pressure is on, looking at our magnetosphere, Yesterday, earthquakes were up pretty good. Today, not so much. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a CME taking off outgoing position, and as well as space weather expected here, 29th into the 30th of June. LASCO 3, showing satellite imagery of our sun and all of its energy over the past four days, from the 20th up until today, we did see that large CME blast from the plasma filament eruption, top right hand right there, and as well M-class solar flare creating large CME, and another one in the northwestern region of our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours, We're sitting at about 210 earthquakes in the 24 hour period, but notable here with all the earthquakes, northern mid-Atlantic ridge, Started with a 5.2 yesterday and has been continuing here. Six earthquakes through the region as well. A 4.4 there. Mugia, Spain, off the coast of Spain. So heads up through the region. Going to be keeping an eye on La Palma volcano after all that seismicity around it. 4.8 here reported mid-Indian ridge. 4.6 there in Baha'i, China. As well, a 5.6 earthquake here in northern Japan, Hamatombetsu, pretty deep, over 350 kilometer depth. And as well, Volcano Islands region, southward there, quiet through the Philippines plate, only reporting a 4.6 there, Banda Sea, way too quiet for my liking. And then Tonga region, Huma, Tonga, 494 kilometer depth, that's the deepest past 24 hours. 5.6 there, Wallace and Petuna, and 5.6 Tonga. 
Nothing major to report at Hawaii. Lava flows have pretty much stopped through the region as the surface of the summit has cooled. Looking at Rat Islands here, 4.3 Aleutian Islands and minor activity spreading across the Aleutian Islands and some increasing earthquake activity here through Point Mackenzie, Alaska, west of Anchorage. North American plate, very quiet. Central plate, very quiet. South America, way too quiet. 4.4 there. Chile and a 4.9 Peru. Heads up, everybody. We've seen some deep earthquakes over the past 24 hours. Notable in Japan and as well Tonga. And this recent activity in northern mid-Atlantic Ridge is a little bit unnerving. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world, all the elevated rings showing the depth of earthquakes. Largest this week being the 6.4 in the Gulf of California. And way too quiet through Philippines Plate, Western Pacific Plate. Stay aware and prepared and be ready. Anybody who is in an earthquake zone, heads up. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Lots of tornado warnings across the United States after the extreme weather event as reported yesterday. Looking at Senge in Ecuador. Ubinas in Peru. That one has awakened from two days ago. That was not on the list from the 49s. We may be sitting at 50. Reventador in Ecuador. Mayan in the Philippines. Multiple large lava flows being talked about and visible there. Sabankaya in Peru. Dekono in Indonesia. Semeru in Indonesia. Nevada Staruas, Colombia, Shevelich in Russia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the probably 50 that are active and erupting around the world. Satellite imagery, we do have two tropical storms in the Atlantic right now. Brett and Cindy, for the first time in history, showing two tropical storms in the Atlantic Ocean through June. So pretty epic event already with hurricanes expecting an interesting Atlantic hurricane season to say the least. Brett and Cindy ramping up. Brett will diminish and Cindy will head northwest into the West Atlantic. Having a look here, a satellite imagery of the region. Low pressure systems affecting most of North America. High pressure ridge will be moving into Europe over the next little bit. Monstrous low pressure system through Russia. And some pretty intense weather moving through parts of central Congo region and West Africa. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Australia. No major typhoons or cyclones to talk about, but plenty of moisture and cloud cover heading into Australia this week. High pressure ridge will build in in the long range forecast coming up here shortly. But some pretty big systems south of Australia and west still moving in. Atmospheric river of moisture coming through the north, at, north Pacific heading mostly into northern BC and Alaska. Let's have a look at air quality as we do have quite a bit of SO2 coming out of Mexico from the Popocatépetl volcano, as well some intense SO2 and heat coming out of Quebec as we have multiple fires that have erupted through Quebec yet again. And all of this is gonna be moving eastward across Newfoundland, having a look here at satellite imagery at the fires that have erupted, looking at nighttime heat signatures there. 
satellite imagery showing intense smoke, nasty air quality building coming out of Quebec. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that is affected or being affected by these wildfires so far through Quebec. And Godspeed and grateful for all of the firefighters across Canada as we've seen almost 4 million hectares burned already this year. Quick glance here at air quality around the rest of the world. Intense SO2 coming out of China. Eruptions off of eastern Russia, Kamchatka. Intense this week and building. Now let's have a look at world weather. Overlooking North America, we do have that low pressure system, central United States. It's going to take its time moving eastward into Ontario over the next couple days. Lingering low. We're going to be seeing scattered showers throughout. Ontario saw some pretty extreme weather in some areas. Cambridge even reported a funnel cloud. Pretty wet week ahead. Pointing out here all the low pressure systems over the next week. Overlooking North America. And as well here the Atlantic forecast for Tropical Storm Cindy. Eventually getting wrapped up in this huge high pressure ridge through the Atlantic. Low pressure system north of England and United Kingdom. High pressure ridge building in for the long range next Friday into Saturday, but then an encroaching low from the north will bring some more moisture. Heavy rains, monsoon rains through India and as well Myanmar, parts of Thailand. Overlooking Australia, you've got moisturous days ahead of you. And as well, New Zealand. Intense low pressure systems just raking across your island. Watch for extreme weather breaking out through northeastern parts of, the, of Australia. Long range forecast, no major typhoons or cyclones developing. But atmospheric river of moisture heading into Alaska, northern BC something to keep an eye on much love everybody i hope you enjoyed today's video keeping you aware and prepared to daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do bye bye now if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world